What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is the Lapel Portable Monitor. What makes this monitor really special besides the 1080p Full HD IPS screen is that it has two inputs, one mini HDMI and the second is the Type-C connection that sends power and audio and video to the monitor, all in one cable. So you just need one cable to power this monitor and send audio video to the monitor, which is really convenient, especially if you're on the go. So this makes it a really great monitor to bring with you on camping trips or business trips. You can even use it as a diagnostic tool to troubleshoot your laptop or your phone. Simply connect to your phone and see if you get a display on the monitor. If you do and you don't have a display on your phone screen, then you know there's something wrong with your either your screen or a connection. And same thing goes for the laptop. You can connect many different devices like the Nintendo Switch to the Lapel screen and even a Super Nintendo Classic. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at it. Now I did open it up and test it out, making sure everything worked. It does come with a Type-C to Type-C USB cable and also comes with uh, HDMI to mini HDMI cable as well. They included a Type-C to USB cable. So this will be, I guess, for the power right here. So you plug it into this adapter, power adapter, and plug this into the monitor and you got power to the monitor. And this is a five volt, two amp power adapter. So what makes this monitor special is a Type-C monitor, meaning that it can be powered by Type-C devices. My laptop or a MacBook that has a Type-C port, you plug it into that port and it should power the monitor and send video and audio to that monitor. And here's the little warranty card right here. Three years and six months warranty. That's pretty impressive. And let's go ahead and dig this out. So I'm just gonna turn it upside down like that. And we got some other goodies right here. It looks like maybe, yeah, cloth to clean it. And FAQ, questions and answers, and user guide. Cool. And here's a screen protector right here. I'm not gonna use that, but it's nice to have. I think I have it this way. Here it goes. So here's, so you just basically place it like this. It's magnetic, should cling on. There it goes. Very nice. And you fold it forward. Aha, figured it out. So it has these little grooves in the case. So you can prop it up right here. Here is your mini HDMI connection. There is your Type-C connection. And there is your headphone jack. If you want to connect headphones to it, if you're camping, you don't want to disturb nobody, plug in your headphones right there. And right here, you have another Type-C. I guess this is for power. And this is a uh, power button right here. And this is volume down and volume up. Or you could press it and enter the menu and navigate through the menu using this. On the right side, you got a speaker right here. It's a one watt speaker. And you have another one watt speaker right here. So stereo speakers, very nice. Feels aluminum right here. So you got a good build. It weighs one and a half pounds. The screen size is 15 and a half inches. This is an IPS screen. You take this off. Great for many different viewing angles. This is a full 1080p HD monitor. It supports smartphones, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox, Mac, and PC. So let's go ahead and test that out. Yeah, you wanna plug it into the USB port. There we go. And let's go ahead and flip this up. Oh, wow, that's fast. So this thing works really good. You just plug it in, wait a couple seconds, and it turns on. Look at that. It powers the monitor. All right, so here's one of my videos. Let's raise the volume. So right now I got 51% battery life, as you can see right here. You see how fast it depletes. Let me lower the brightness so I get a little bit extra battery life. All right, so this is 50% brightness. 
All right, and then this is 100% brightness. Very nice. And I could actually live with 50% brightness. Looks pretty good. So you could turn it this way, you get full screen. Turn it this way. And you get vertical. You adjust the volume on your phone. And also right here, you can adjust the volume. So you can watch TV using your phone. Let me go ahead and do that. You see, and you can raise the volume using your phone, or you can raise the volume by flicking down on the dial and raising the volume right here. You can test out the laptop, or if you want a secondary screen or mirror your screen, you can do that with the laptop. On uh, your laptop, make sure you have an HDMI connection right here, and I do, or a Type-C connection. And it has a lightning bolt right there. So that's for power also. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out using the Type-C connection. I'm gonna use my laptop to power this monitor and send audio video to the monitor. So let's go ahead and try it out. So simply plug it into the Type-C connection on your laptop, plug it into the monitor on the left side the right side is for power the left side is for audio video and power and it automatically toggles the screen a portable monitor will automatically detect the signal and automatically switch to type c connection so if you want to adjust the brightness flick up on the dial and then you can adjust the brightness by going up and down on the dial and if you want to adjust the volume flick down on the dial and then you can adjust the volume by going up and down on the dial hit the button to exit out and if you hit the button, you can actually open up the inputs and then you can flick up and down to choose which connection you want. But it automatically detects the connection and toggles to that. So you don't really have to mess with that feature. Now, if you want to adjust the menu settings, just press the dial and you can go up and down to toggle through all the settings. It does have HDR, which is really great for improving your colors on your screen. If you raise the volume and raise the, and raise the brightness on the screen, of course, it's gonna drain your battery faster on your phone or laptop. If you want to mirror your screen, you just right click on desktop, click on display settings, and scroll down, and then you click on multiple, and then click on multiple displays under that, you could choose duplicate, which is mirror mode. And it will mirror everything that you're doing here onto here. And if you want to extend your workspace, you could do so. Let me go ahead and raise it so you get a better image. There you go. And let's go ahead and scroll down to multiple displays and then click on extend display and keep changes. Now, if you open up your Chrome browser, or if you open up your video editor, you can extend your workspace, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll open up a second tab, drag and drop that tab over here. Let's try that again. Open up the second tab, and then drag and drop this tab over here. Just slam it up on the top. It should automatically open it up. There it goes. And now I could click on trending YouTube videos right here. And over here, I could do a Google search. So if you're on business trips, this may be really ideal to have. Now I got this broken Nintendo Switch off of eBay and the screen doesn't work. I wanna see if it works in console mode. So I got this dock right here and I have the power connected and I have we got the HDMI, I'm gonna connect right here. Because I don't think it connects using the Type-C to Type-C cable. I'm gonna try it actually, see if it does. But I don't think it has that feature, because this is kind of old. All right, so let's see. No, nothing's going on. So let's go ahead and use the dock. And let's go ahead and plug it into the dock. And plug this in right here. And plug in the power. 
this type C cable and I'm gonna plug it into this is going to be the mini HDMI port we're gonna plug it into there we go and I have the monitor plugged into right here power and what is this actually reading? This is a five volt, two amp. Um, so you could really just use a USB bank that is five volt, two amp, which is, I think this port right here. There we go. And it looks like I have enough battery. I have three bars out of four. Oh, look, it works. So that's cool. So we can use that for power or you use the power adapter but now it's portable <laughs> and you can take it camping that's kind of cool I don't know how long your battery life is gonna last but you can definitely play games type C to type C I don't think it has that feature yeah see it doesn't have oh maybe it does oh it does have that feature you can use a type C to type C for some reason, when I first tried it, it didn't work. Maybe because, uh, I don't know. I did something wrong, I guess. You can connect another device and connect it to the USB power bank. And we can use a Super Nintendo Classic if you want to play video games. Connect the HDMI cable. And connect right here. HDMI now if you want to use the phone for powering your monitor you could do that you just plug it into the right side type C connection there we go so we're using my phone to power the monitor or you could use the USB power bank or of course you could use the power adapter but if you're camping the USB power bank or your phone will work like a power bank. And now we could play video games. And I actually modded this Super Nintendo Classic. It actually has all the game systems, which is really cool. So I got Game Boy, Sega Genesis, Atari 2600, NES, which is Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games, Super and Nintendo 64 games and Game Boy Advance games. All right, so let's go ahead and click on Nintendo. And I'm gonna try one of my favorite games, Blades of Steel. Now what's really cool about this system is that if you hit reset on the Super Nintendo Classic, you have an option to save your gameplay right here just select down and choose a slot to save it by holding Y or you can load your old game saves right here and hit A to load your old game saves So guys, if you're interested in the Lapau Portable Monitor, click on the link in the video description below. If you know anyone that might be interested in the Lapau Portable Monitor, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.